For 37 years, Earl Cheek taught vocational agriculture to the students of Perry High School. He advised 19 National Golden Emblem Future Farmers of America winners, as well as seven state chapter winners. He taught 25 American Farmers Degree recipients and 250 Planters Degree recipients. As a teacher, Earl Cheek affected the lives of hundreds of young people and agribusiness leaders in the Southeast. Outside the classroom, he served on state agricultural education committees, which helped establish and improve school shop facilities and programs. He also pioneered a high school level horticulture program, which was adopted by the Georgia Department of Education. Cheek was also dedicated to making the farmers' voices heard in Washington. From 1974 until 1983, he worked as an administrative aide to Senator Sam Nunn and the late Congressman Richard Ray. In everything he does, Earl Cheek supports agriculture in Georgia. He has truly earned his spot in the Georgia Agricultural Hall of Fame at the University of Georgia. Well, I can go back and, of course, I was, when I was teaching, I always enjoyed quartets and string band, a lot of extracurricular activity. And it always made me feel good when you took a group of country boys and taught them to sing, you know, and they could sing, win the state in the quartet, and they never had any music, those kind of things. In other words, when they accomplished something, when they won a cattle show or speaking contest or, or you help some farmer solve a problem, those kind of things is really what, what I enjoy because I've been fortunate to receive a lot of honors, but they, they were not my honors. They were honors of my students and farmers and people that I work with. Well, that hard work and the work ethic and being on the job and carrying out the responsibilities of your occupation and doing your best, really, and although you, you may have come up from a 10 children family like I did, if you study hard, work hard, and work with people, you're going to accomplish a lot. And the people you work with are going to accomplish a lot. That's, you know, do the best you can, whatever it is. If that could be called a legacy. But I, I just like people say, well, he, he did his best. He, he wanted to be a, a leader among men. He wanted to serve his country and do whatever was required of him to be a good citizen.